Marcus Scotty reporting on the CIA US led coup in Venezuela. Venezuela. Breaking news. U.S. warns Maduro to stop intimidation tactics and last minute looting or else. Wow. They're leveling um, the, 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 the CIA team of Pompeo, Elliot Abrams, Donald Trump. Fucking guys, right? Are leveling saying that Maduro is, in, is using intimidation tactics. So I have a video of uh, Juan Guardo. Juan Guardo. The rebel leader uh saying exactly that we'll, we'll I'll play the video in a second so only a minute uh, so Trump administration issued a stern warning to Ven- Venezuela's president Nicolas Maduro they're they're issuing a they're warning the president but they're not acknowledging him as the president uh, so irony there on Thursday after reports emerged of last minute looting by Russia and other countries of gold and oil, and egregious acts of intimidation against opposition leader Juan Guardo. Uh, So so this is a school play. That's what this is. This is a big school play. This is Act 2 or 3, where they've placed the, they have the the opposition leader, the rebel, they cut their deal for the oil, they're funding the rebel, right? And now they're just waiting for Maduro to fold his cards or strike back, right? I suspect that this guy's going to get whacked, Juan Guardo. It just seems like, it seems like the 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 only option at this point because you got a guy in the country standing up, destabilizing the the politics by by being a traitor essentially. He's he's dealing with the United States uh, in our country. If you did that to a foreign hostile nation, it's treason, right? So Guardo is is. Uh, according, I guess, along the lines of their constitution, would be acting in a treasonous way. Right? So they're going to probably kill him or jail him or whatever. Right? So, so there's more. Um, there will be consequences. This is Trump and our, our, our team, U.S., the, the terrorists. There will be consequences for those engaged in such acts, the officials said. They will be held accountable, and they will be missing this unique opportunity to move on. Uh, so, they're, so they're threatening. They're threatening egregious acts of intimidation, right? Guardo, Venezuela's self-declared interim president, said Thursday that he had been visited by a notorious state-backed police. Uh, let's listen to that. We got that. So here he is. It's in Spanish. I'll, I'll, at this moment, uh, there are troops at my house. They're at my house looking for Fabrilia, his wife. They're trying to frighten us. We're not going to take the, the intimidation. I started talking about Venezuela. Not, not about that. Empecé con la serenidad que me da hablar del futuro porque lo hemos conquistado en este presente de lucha y en este presente de sacrificio de tanto. Te, tememos porque no está... Hey, you know what? On a, on a different note, right? You know what's, you know what's the most fascinating thing about this? Is, man, she's hot. Look how hot. Fucking Guardo's got a hot wife, man. Check this shit out. Man. Let's get a little focus on Oh, man. Damn, fucking one Guardo. Juan Guarda, oh, I love you, Juan. I love you, Juan. You fucking, oh, you're my wife, man. You fucking, I, you my man. I fuck you. Ah, I love you, Juan. I love you. Oh, man, the guy's got some, that's some shit right there, right? Some, he's got some shit going on, man. He's got some pussy. <laughs> so it's it's kind of crazy. Oh, I'm sorry, I, dive, I digress, right? So such acts of intimidation are seen as very serious, very egregious by the United States, the U.S. officials said. They're leveling, they're leveling threats at the guy. Reports of a Russian plane landing in Caracas this week have also been on Trump administration's radar, with many suspecting that gold and oil are being shipped out. Look, Venezuela has other obligations other than succumbing to your terrorism right they have deals with russia they have deals with china right they're fucking doing business right, right. we're trying to seize now see it's, it's very revealing they're trying to stop the flow of gold and oil out so they could take it for themselves 
It's looting. We're looting the country. We're looting Venezuela. It's, it's right out of Trump's playbook, and this is a CIA school play leading it. Abrahams and Pompeo. The source, the source noted how U.S. government ultimately wants to keep Venezuela's oil company Pedavesa and its U.S. subsidiary Citgo optional, operational. Excuse me. So they're saying, while they're saying they're trying to to save the the people of Venezuela, really all they're talking about is gold and oil. So Conti right again. Our goal is to ensure that Cisco Citgo remains viable. The officials said. Our goal is to ensure that Sitco remains viable, right? That's the whole goal of the thing. It's not about the people. God damn, people are so fucking stupid, man. The officials said to make sure that Maduro and his cronies are not able to loot Sitco in the way that they have been looting it for years. They're not looting it. It's a state it's a state owned, state run oil company that that the, the proceeds go to feeding the people and, and fueling the Venezuelan economy, not lining the pockets of a bunch of big oil companies that don't reciprocate in the United States anyway. I'll say this as well. Anybody who's watching, watching this Venezuela thing and thinks that I'm for Trump, we got to get some of that oil. It's going to drop our oil prices. It's, gonna, it's good, we get the gold. You're fucking ki- kidding yourself, right? None of that money ever hits the real economy. Exxon, uh, you know, all these organizations, all these big oil companies, billionaires are going to reap the benefit from this. And you're going to get fucked. Your oil price is not going to go down. Your gas price is not going to go down. This is pocket money for the, for the billionaires. Marcus Conti reporting. 